Hello guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today's video is a massive shopping haul including Amazon Pound Stretcher, Home Bargains and Pets at Home. Let's get started. <laughs> So the eagle eye viewers of you, some of you I'm sure have noticed that this is a bit of a different setup today. I'm trying something new, I'm actually sat on a chair instead of the floor, so I'm just going to see how it goes and fit, ha see how I feel about it. So the first thing is Amazon, so I'm hopefully going to try and remember some prices so please bear with me. So on Amazon, as you do, it's really easy just to pop on there, on the app, find something that you think you need, you click, done, sorted. So the first thing I wanted to buy was some adhesive hooks for our bedroom and our bathroom door. Now we did have one on our bathroom door when we moved in here and it was, I don't know how to describe it, it was on something sticky that was actually to the door, it then had a little plastic hook and then it actually had the metal looking hook over that. Um, but the other night I suddenly had this really loud bang and I thought, what is that? I'm home alone, the dog's fast asleep, he didn't move at all. And I thought, didn't think anything of it. I'd gone then gone to bed, got up in the middle of the night to go to the bathroom and found I ended up tripping over the, because I opened the door, I ended up tripping up over all the towels because basically the whole thing had come off. And actually I'd noticed that the plastic bracket that hold the actual hook had actually snapped. So I had to remove that. So we needed some replacements. So I had a look, quick look on Amazon and I, these ones I found were really good. It's a pack of four um, and it was... 14.99 or something and they come they're really really smart um, and the reason why we also wanted four because we actually wanted to put one on our bedroom door here um, because when we moved in it had a little it's still it's still there actually it's the remainder of what obviously was a hook of some sort um, and it, we've never replaced it so we're going to remove the sticky thing finally and we're going to replace it with one of these now I think they're really really smart and they are self adhesive and the reviews are really good. I don't know if anyone else has used Amazon reviews um, but I use them quite a lot and I find them really useful because you get genuine, some of them are genuine, I think some of them may not be because um, I've had items on there that I've gone for good reviews and they're really really good and vice versa. So yeah. The second item I bought from Amazon, now I am a big thing about training OB at the moment um, and I'm trying all sorts of different training methods and activities and especially to keep him occupied and busy, especially as he's a colleague because obviously he's very active. So the first thing, I, the, this one I got was these recordable training buzzers. Now he's trained to press a little dog bell and um, i also bought on amazon that came with a pack of two um to if he wants to go outside which has been really really useful um but i wanted to start training him on other things that aren't so obvious as a bell um and these ones are actually recordable so you can actually use them they come in four different colors um is a gray one which i've got out by the door at the moment and then I've, there's three others there's a pink a sort of this color, color, bluey color and then a yellow and you basically can record them up to 10 seconds of sound they recommend doing basic commands like walk water food outside um and you can basically teach them and there's loads of videos on things like youtube and things like that the recent one i saw was a dog was basically telling its owner that there was a stranger in the house by, and there's about 20 buttons on the floor. Definite must watch, and I'll try and put the link down below for you. So I'm gonna try and do some training with Obi on those. So this is such a large haul. I've actually got five bags from the three different stores, minus the stuff from Amazon, and also got some stuff outside of the bags. So I'm gonna do pound stretcher first. So let's get the bag up. Ooh, it's so heavy, this is a massive bag. I'm gonna try and do the prices, and I don't normally do this, um, I have got the receipt here, I've actually remembered to dig it out this time. Um, I also, the reason why I've got it out this time, I actually use an app called Shopix. It is not an ad at all, but it's something I recommend. Basically, you take a photo of all of your receipts, you do little quizzes and you do little questionnaires about your shopping experience and you earn points and then the points then go to vouchers. I've had it for about three and a half, four weeks now and I've got over a thousand a thousand points i think you get up to about five thousand and you do, do a five pound voucher for places like amazon so for someone who like me that goes to little shops like pound stretcher etc and it all adds up eventually so definitely worth checking that out in the app store 
App Store or Android Store, depending on what you have. So we'll start off with what I got from Pound Stretcher. Now the biggest item I got today was this. Now it's basically a giant dog pillow um, with a little paw on the end. This was six ninety nine. Now since Ovi was little, we have tried all sorts of beds, different sizes, including crate mats and duvets. He preferred the duvet. We worked out he's a sleeper that when he's properly asleep, he's completely flat out. Um, so obviously something with harder size is not ideal for him. So as this is only six ninety nine, we wanted to give it a go and just see what it is. So I'm excited to see what he thinks of that. One of the first things I picked up was six of these. Now, if you've tr ever tried it before, you know why. It is so nice. And for some reason, Apple Tango is not available in uh, most other places. So this was 49p per can. Now, this is quite good. I love the fact they can be nice and cold and kept in the fridge. So that was a do with purchase on that one. So next up, I use these all the time is the colour magnet. So I use them in the washing machine is great because it means I can put a white item with coloured items because I don't we don't have enough white items to do like a white wash although occasionally I do when I do the bedding as well but that's only if I remember so these were 90p each and I what they did have a big box of 40 plus two but it actually was more expensive so it's cheaper to buy two boxes at 90p so just an interesting tip for you so another item i got was this massive bottle of heinz ketchup now i think i did buy another one of these today which shows i wasn't actually paying attention but I know it is not going to go to waste. Now, my other half, I don't know about you, is very specific about must eat in Heinz. I've probably explained this before. Um, so I decided to get him the big bottle um, because I don't go to these places very often anymore. So make sure I topped up on that for him. And this was 3.49, and this is a massive one. 1170 mil so i will keep him going for a while even for a um, heinz ketchup addict so the next item i got was a toffee crisp now i don't know really, don't know why but my mum always used to love toffee crisps and when i see them it reminds me of her unfortunately she can't eat them anymore but i'm gonna make up for it um, i don't get these very often so i thought this was good this is actually a four pack and they were actually advertised of like three plus one um, so the toffee crisp was a pound for a pack, which I thought was quite good. Um, so yeah, these are going to be really, really nice and they'll go in my treat basket. So obviously had to spoil, um, lovely Ovi and I bought him this really, really cute duck toy. It's got no stuffing in, it's got squeakers. He had a something similar when he was a baby um and it unfortunately did get broken the squeaker broke out of it um but yeah we're trying to basically find stuff that will work with him um, and he'll love chasing just this across the floor so a couple more items i brought in there so i recently painted well I wouldn't say recently it's probably about a year ago now in the first lockdown in March 2020 I repainted our bathroom now before we moved in I bought this little plaque which was on like slate with a little um I don't know what to call it um string to hold to hang it up on the wall and it basically was how bathroom rules not house rules and it was it was really cute but it was funny it was a little bit rude but I actually saw this um in um pan stretcher and i think this is actually more appropriate it's the right color for our bathroom it'll go well and it comes with the little hook as well so i'm really excited to put that up and see what that looks like and then last but not least people will think i'm crazy but if you see my organization series i am starting to go mad with labels and getting everything ready so i bought one two three four five six seven they're actually called storage box storage box stickers um, and there's nine in each pack of different ones so there's keys batteries chargers of all different sizes there's fish meat greens there's tea coffee and sugar there's salad veggies pasta and salad laundry cleaning bits and bobs tea towels polish cloths tea towels shampoo moisturizer conditioner so I'm really excited to use these. Now it's really funny, when I went to the till, the lady was like, oh, these are such a craze. I can't believe how many of these we've sold. And they're a pound each uh, for the pack of nine. And I went, yeah, I was basically ended up buying a pack of like basic 
envelope labels and then writing with a sharpie i haven't got the best handwriting it's neat but not neat enough um and i like the fact that they all match and look different so i'd be excited to start using those around the house Okay, so now I'm going to move on to Pets at Home. So while I was out today, I'm actually a VIP member of Pets at Home and basically they do little offers and vouchers. So I was actually able to save some money by buying things today. So this is what I bought. So at the moment we're doing lots and lots of training with Ovi. So we bought these wag treats and I bought like six, seven, three, four, like eight packs of these. So there's cookie ones. Training ones and also the low fat ones now just a little bit of advice that i found the when training obi is very specific about what he eats the little cheese bites although he loves them they're not good for getting his attention because they don't smell of anything so these are actually really good because the minute i open the packet he's there sat on my feet so I can only recommend them and then obviously because I am a nice doggy mum as uh, uh, people put it um I bought him this really really cute little lion box I think it's a fox <laughs> a really cute little toy now we bought a toy uh, when he was a baby um, and it was like six pounds and he destroyed it this is actually only five and I ended up saving even more money with the vouchers um so yeah I just thought that was really really cute from pets at home Okay, so we're next going to move on to Home Bargains. Now, this is where the biggest shop I spent over £80, don't tell Scott, in Home Bargains. And that is on a mix of food and storage and cleaning and pets and drinks. Now, the reason why I bought drinks, obviously, with the lovely weather, and I don't know if anyone else in the in the UK is having the same weather, but we've had some really nice weather over the last couple of days, which means we're drinking more, and we seem to go for things that are in the fridge, including our squash, so I needed to top up on a few things. So the first thing I bought was two bottles of this Robinson's Value Pack. It's actually three litres, so I bought two of these um, in the orange flavour. Uh, normally we buy stuff from Aldi but obviously I'm not going back there for another two weeks or so so I thought I'd top up and obviously as we're both going to be at home Scott's actually got this week off so hopefully he will be um, drinking this quite a lot more. Next item I got which I have discovered re more recently I actually bought it in our local one stop but when I saw this I thought amazing a must have is great when it's chilled um in a really really nice posh glass is this ribena sparkling now i used to love ribena as a kid always had it and i know that uh one of my best friends that we used to live like right next door to each other she'll know how much ribena meant to me so yeah this was definite love it new favorite um so yeah i'm gonna put these straight in the fridge after this so next up, getting a little bit Easter themed. Now, when I used to work in hotels, someone had gone into Home Bargains and I'd never discovered the shop before until this point. And it was a little green bunny with a little bow and it was sort of about this sort of size and it was a little statue like made of like that fake artificial grass. Could I find one today? No, I should have picked one up last time I was there because um, I just bought them all out. But typically I've missed it again, but to be honest, it's not a must. I need to stop buying stuff that I don't need, especially at the moment as we're trying to minimise everything and trying to organise everything. And the less stuff I've got, the less I've got to organise. So talking of organising and Easter, so we'll start with Easter first. So the first thing I got was these Mr Kipling Lemon Bake Bugs. Now, if you've never had one of these, I definitely recommend them. I love the original Bakewell tarts, but I don't like the cherry. Is that weird? <laughs> so actually these are really, really nice. So you get the nice um, Mr. Kipling flavour, um, but just not without the cherry. And it's actually lemon, which is really nice. And I do love these when they come out at Easter. It's kind of like an Easter treat. Um, I don't like to go over the top at Easter, but just having the little things that remind you that it's a different time of year than the norm of not being Easter is quite good fun. So next up, I bought this for my, basically for YouTube. Um, I've been really, really enjoying videos and I'm hoping to post more and more as time goes on. Um, and a lot of the research I've done into improving videos, including learning how to use my editing software um, that I've bought, because I was basically very, doing very, very basic cutting and editing. I've now worked out how to cut longer clips into bits, which is great instead of keep using this little clicker that I've got as part of this um, 
tripod I've got the phone on currently um so lighting was really important of one of the things that people recommended so I bought this new ring light I don't like this box it's really really cheesy um but I thought actually it'd be really good the fact that you've got control it's USB powered and things like that um, and I just thought it'd be really good because it'll also hold my phone which is how I record everything the per at the moment I don't want to get a cat posh camera my phone does absolutely brilliant the storage is fine and I automatically transfer it over to a um, storage extended hard hard drive from my laptop um so i save room that way so i'm quite excited to see this and see how bright it is and i'll probably be using it in the next video so look out for that then going on to storage now obviously we had to buy some different food for obi this week due to them not having the cans that we normally get um and as some part of kitchen organization i use these little baskets these are only 99p each they didn't have any of the gray ones that i normally get they actually only had the two of them which was this one and another one but the other one it was cracked by the side of here which i'm hoping isn't cracked under here because i couldn't actually see underneath the label um but yeah i'm going to basically put all the little food pouches in it just keeps it nice and neat because they don't stand up on their own and the boxes don't fit in my cupboard they're quite awkwardly shaped so i'm looking forward to organizing that finally next thing i saw on instagram and a friend i used to go to school with and i'd literally just been to home barbies before i saw it and i was really really disappointed that i generally just didn't see it um and basically as part of my cleaning cupboard underneath the stairs i basically wanted to put everything in boxes i found one in b m but it wasn't brilliant and i needed more different and bigger slightly bigger ones especially for all the laundry detergents because then i can pull it out give it a wipe a lot easier so i finally found these now i've just bought four of them the fourth one decided to drop off um and they're nice white, they're nice and deep, and they'll basically go anywhere. So even if I don't use them in the storage covers in the kitchen, I can use them for other things, which I'm quite excited to use. Okay, so we'll move on to the next bag. So snacks. First thing I actually picked up, and I don't know if anyone else loved these as much as I do, and I've found these in a recent haul, uh, and they're the Flaming Hot Watsits. These are normal size ones. The ones I bought recently, I think are in B&M. They are the Giants, and I didn't. They're nice, but I just really struggle to eat them because they're so big. And I've only got a little face. I might be able to talk for England, but I've only got a little face. So I'm really excited to eat those. These are my favourite. They used to come in multi-packs when I was a kid. But these were, we, we were always fighting over the flaming hot ones. So obviously on the drink section of what I also bought. Now I actually saw this on one of the trolleys that they were loading stuff onto the shelves first. Um, somewhere else and then I then went and found them in the normal aisle and um, so I got this lemon and strawberry and I got two of these and then I also bought it in the lemon and raspberry they're 1.5 litres and they were like a pound I think yeah a pound each so I think this is really good and this will remind me I'm drinking cocktails I literally saw my dad yesterday walking the dogs and we're, we're really looking forward to when we can finally sit in his lovely big garden with the dogs um and just drink cocktails obviously I won't because I then have to drive home as my other half doesn't drive um but this will be really ideal for that sort of thing it'll probably be drunk by then but we look forward to that time so as part of me organising this entire flat and something I definitely recommend and I have them already in my kitchen so hence I've bought more is the storage containers. Now I got this size and then a larger size I think they're in a different bag um, with these lids so basically it just it's a ceiling lid so it basically just pops up like that and it sort of self seals itself. Um, they're really really good I've used them for biscuit tins now biscuits were a great test. We put some cookies that we knew that if the minute we opened them, they would go really, really soft. Um, so we popped them in here and they lasted for ages. Um, we also tried them with like things like Oreos and things like that. Um, and they definitely work. So I definitely recommend those. So this one I got in the grey lids. Another item that I had on my list, I don't worry, I did actually go with a list, was a fairy liquid. Now this one I love because it's the pomegranate and honeysuckle and it's a really, really big bottle. Now I have tried the Aldi ones. I basically did the Aldi test of seeing if it will make my um, shop cheaper. And now I have to say it did make things cheaper, but not every item was what I preferred. Now food wise, 
don't notice the difference apart from the pricing but things like washing up liquid I notice the difference so I definitely still go for the branded items um and I find that it was just thin and it wasn't foaming up as nice and it didn't smell clean it just was just liquid and I felt I just didn't I use more of it which is obviously a waste and you end up paying as much as you would normally so fairy liquid in this one I love this scent like it just literally oh, so that would be a nice addition sticking with cleaning I've seen this all over Instagram and I basically said to my friend the other day she was going to save this and she didn't find it um so I got the fairy power spray for easy scrubbing now i'm going to try this on our pots and pans see if i can save them and see if it works and it comes in this really nice trigger spray so i'm going to um add this to my cleaning cupboard and the next two items i got was a fanta lemon now we we're obviously not going on a summer holiday this year although probably they may lift restrictions on holidays We've just said until it is completely safe and there's no chance of us getting stuck anywhere, um, we decided no holiday. We're just going to spend it at home and put the money on to the house. So I got some Fanta lemon and it just reminds me of a holiday. Nice and chilled, nice cold glass. And it just reminds me of sitting by the pool. Although sitting on our balcony outside isn't quite the same, but it makes it a little bit closer to the experience. And then last but not least was, I told you, I bought another ketchup, but this was like two pounds. Okay, so we've got two more bags left. So the first bag is quite simple. It has got this really, really cute little crocodile that I saw that Ovi will absolutely love. Whether it lasts five minutes or two seconds, I don't know, but it was like 2 99 and I thought it'll be 2 99 worth of fun all the way. So that was him. I think they're really, really cute. <laughs> And do you find wherever you go, you always pick up something for the dog if you have one? I can't literally re resist going into the dog aisle. I now have a dog of my own. I can finally have an excuse to go into that aisle. So the next things were the containers that I said earlier. So I got another one of the smaller ones and these are the 1.7 litre storage. And then I got two of the larger ones which are the 2.3. Now this is really good for things like pasta and things like that. I have glass jars as well, but I find because these are square, they sit together really nicely in the cupboards, whereas all the glass ones look really, really fancy on a really nice shelf. And I'm not going to get rid of them because obviously we don't know what type of kitchen we're going to have in our new house. Um, they don't stack very well in a cupboard and you have loads of wasted space in between. So if you've got tight space like we have at the moment, the square ones are definitely recommended. And the final bag. So first things first, as I said, dog stuff. I got these um, Bis Croc Multi Mix. Now we actually use this as part of Obi's dinner. So he has a puzzle feeder with his wet food and we just put a couple of these on top. It just means that we can eat our dinner in peace, otherwise he just sits and moans. Now we did start eat feeding him in his crate as a safe place, um, but we're finding that actually he gets fussy and if he's out of the crate, he still leaves us alone. He eats his dinner, he can access it more, but he's then not barking and whining to get out. So we're gonna try and see how that goes. Next up, I don't know if you have seen the Minky adverts recently. So um, obviously I have quite a large collection, but when I saw these, I was like, it's gotta be done. So the first thing was a new kitchen one. Now this one actually doesn't have, it just has a bit of paper around with a number on it. Um, didn't actually have the cardboard around it. So I'm hoping they discounted it, but if not, it's not, less, not the end of the world. They're only about two pounds 49. Now my one got really, really manky really quickly. And this black, this bit here has now gone like a really, really dark gray. Um, so that was to replace that because it was starting to go manky. And then I saw this one, I nearly picked up two, but I thought actually I only need the one as I have so many at home already, is this Pet Promises. And it basically is to clear up our three um, mucky pups, which I definitely have one. Um, yeah, so I'm really looking forward. And I just like the paw prints on anything. Anything with paw prints on, I just melt. So that was another good addition. 
And then the next thing, I don't know if you've seen all of Instagram, but I know they were disappearing, is the Minkies and the Mini Pad. I had to get one. I just thought they were so cute, even if it just sits in by the um, the sink, in my sink organiser. Um, I just think it was just so cute. And I just love them. Oh, and they're little mini and tiny. I'm going to melt when I have kids, honestly. I'm going to be absolutely terrible um, because when they're all tiny, they're little socks. And just, I'm just going to melt. <laughs> So next thing I got was when I last went to Home Bargains, I tried the lemon and herb piri piri sauce. Now my recommendation, get it, is 85p a bottle. I ended up picking up two bottles this time and basically we just put it over a chicken breast in some foil um, and it just was like homemade Nando's. Instead of going and spending 20 quid, 85p on the sauce, we get the chicken breast from Aldi we make our own wedges or chips depending how you cut them depending how you like them and we basically got homemade Nando's for probably like what less than six quid for two of us so yeah just to save money on more um it's definitely and it just reminds me of Nando's but at home you don't have the fuss about delivery or anything like that um so yeah I cannot recommend this enough so as I said earlier I did have a shopping list and the other item on here was fairy liquid now this antibacterial one I really really like um, and the smell of it is really nice as well. And obviously at the moment with all the germs going around, I'm literally trying to find anything that's antibacterial or is a germ killer or anything like that. Um, I just love the smell of it. And I like to have a range of a few things. So I've now got the two backups ready for when this one is nearly finished. We're literally finishing the elbow grease apple. There's literally a tiny bit left in the bottom. So that won't be long until these are out. And as I said, I do spoil OB, so I got two more toys. So I got this cute little duck. Now, I actually bought something when he was really, really tiny, and he... I'm not sure what happened to it, actually, thinking about it. No, you know what? I gave it to Maverick when we first had him at home, and I remember my dad going home goes, Maddie, I've got something really bad to tell you, and I'm thinking, oh, no, we'll have to grab something with the grandparents or something like that, and he goes, it snowed in the garden. I was like, what are you on about? And he went, open the bin. <laughs> I opened our bin, it's under the counter. And I went, oh, right. And basically goes, I should take the picture of it. Basically, he'd shredded this, he basically killed it. And basically the whole of the stuffing of it inside was all over my dad's garden and it literally looked like it snowed. So that was quite funny. So yeah, I'm gonna try Obi. This one feels a bit more robust, so maybe it was nicer quality. Again, this was only like 2 99 And the final toy was this cute little rat. Uh, it's actually a squirrel. Okay, maybe it is a squirrel. I don't know, but it's noisy, which he'll love. And it's got a squeak, it's got a, a nice tail as well. Um, he'll absolutely love that. And it's not got a lot of stuffing in as well. So hopefully he'll really enjoy that. I've definitely spoiled him on this haul. Another item on my shopping list this week was tuna. My other half eats tuna until he's going to look like a tin. And I'm surprised that hasn't happened the way he goes through. Now, I shopped in Audi about a week and a half, two weeks ago. And the 10 tins I bought him then, he's already gone through. So I've had to buy two packs of the John West in brine tuna. And they're five packs. They're like £2.49 or something for two uh, for a pack of five or five tins. Um and I've got a really funny story. I don't know if any of you are following Michael McIntyre, but I have recently got into him um, and some of his sketches. And one of them I recommend on his YouTube channel is Herbs and Spices. And basically is he basically just puts characters to the herbs and spices in the cupboard that you would see on a daily basis. And it's hilarious. He puts little characters with them. He's like a five spice. Um, and it's really good. And I can't do it as well as he, but... Um, and then next thing this other character appears and just goes excuse me i've been in this congo way longer than you and he goes and they're like uh who are you and it's like john west tuna nice to meet you i cannot stop thinking when i see john west tuna so yeah that's just a little bit funny story and it just made me giggle and i think the lady next to me was thinking she's giggling at a load of tuna but that's why <laughs> And then last but not least, when I did my video for the bathroom organisation series, which you haven't seen, please check out my plays on my channel. You noticed that I didn't actually have any conditioner left in the bottle. There's only a little bit and I've been using it a lot more. I'm trying to look after my hair as part of my self-care 2021 goal. And I've realised that I've got quite bad matting underneath and I can get quite a dry scalp. Um, and I've used this before. It's the tea tree tingle conditioner. And I bought two bottles. 
so hopefully that will work really really well this and a one they did in sainsbury's i think it's apple i don't know whether it had something else apple green same green color um i just love the smell and you could smell it like a couple of days afterwards still and it really really conditioned so definitely recommend these ones so that is absolutely everything from my haul today. Thank you ever so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you please like to give me a thumbs up on the video and subscribe down below. And I've got plenty more content coming, including my organisation series, which I'm really enjoying. And it's keeping me motivated to keep moving, especially with the country going lockdown. I'm not sure exactly when it's going to end, although obviously Boris recently announced that. Um, we're now going to have we've got a step-by-step -step guide to follow um, but obviously that's not guaranteed depending on numbers and how the vaccines are going so I hope everyone stay safe and stay well and I look forward to seeing you on the next video thank you very much for watching bye <laughs>